Hello everyone and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're going to create this image of Heinz Chapel in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, we're going to be working with uh, Lightroom, Photoshop. We're also going to be working with Topaz plugins like uh, Just AI, AI Clear. And we're also going to be looking at the new Luminar. Luminar 4 actually and look at the sky replacement filter and see how that works. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's start out by coming up to the profile here and clicking on this icon right here and let's find a profile that would work nice. I always like Adobe Color and Adobe Vivid. I think Vivid looks nice on this one, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Close this out. Let's run the auto um, adjustment on here. And that's a good starting point for it. And I think it's a little overexposed. So let me pull the exposure back a little bit on it. Maybe bump up the contrast slightly, not much. Highlights are looking pretty good. Shadows, let's look at that. Yeah, let's open up the shadows a little bit here. And the white point looks pretty good. And the black point, um, I'm not going to add any clarity yet. And I'm not going to do anything with the tone curve. Let's come down to detail and I'm going to use the capture sharpening of 25. The default setting for Lightroom. No noise reduction because I'm going to do that inside of Photoshop with Topaz Denoise AI. And let's see what else we have here. And uh, lens corrections. Let's go ahead and remove chromatic aberrations and enable profile corrections. And let's come back up here to basic. And I think we're at a good starting point. White balance looks pretty good to me. Let me see if I want to warm it up a little bit. Maybe just a slight warming, not much. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and right click this and edit in Photoshop 2020. All right, here we are inside of Photoshop 2020. And make this image a little bit bigger here. All right, the next thing I want to do is duplicate the background layer, so that's Command or Control J. Let's come up here to Filter. This time, let's go into uh, Topaz Studio 2 to do the noise reduction. I said I was going to use the noise AI, but you know what? This is was shot at ISO 100, so it's relatively low noise. So I'm just going to go ahead and add Filter and get AI Clear. And just do the... Uh, do the auto on this and I think it's going to be good and that gives me a little bit of extra sharpening too which looks really nice all right and let's come up here to filters this is nice with our plugins here we can come to let's go to adjust AI see what we can get here with adjust AI let me go ahead and click on standard do it standard AI adjustment here and that looks pretty nice. I like all the details that popped out of here. It's looking pretty nice. Maybe I'll just back that off just a little bit. And let me click on the canvas. Here's the before and here's the after. So I think that's looking really nice. All right, so let's just go ahead and click apply and that'll bring us right back into Topaz Studio 2. And let's come here and just click accept and we'll come right back into Photoshop. Now let's duplicate the background layer again, and that's Command or Control J. And this time we're going to try out the new Luminar 4 sky replacement and see how that works. So let's come up here to Filter and come down to Skylum Software and go to Luminar 4. And we'll launch Luminar 4 here. And let's see how this uh, sky replacement filter works. All right. Now I've already did the uh, adjust AI adjustment, so I'm not going to mess around with like AI enhance or AI structure. I might look at AI structure. Let's let's check that out here and see how this works. Let's add a little bit of structure. It's going to intelligently add some structure to this. I already liked what adjust AI did, but let's just see if we can add a little bit more. I'm not going to go too crazy here because I really liked what uh, adjust AI did, but. That's not looking too bad. I don't want to go over the top with it, but I like all the details in here. I'm thinking that looks pretty nice. I just don't like the sky that I got when I shot this original image here. It looks a little overexposed. I could, I could fix that up in Photoshop, but the sky still is kind of boring to me. So let's see what 
what Luminar can do for us. So let's come here to this icon right here, the creative icon, and let's go to AI Sky Replacement. Sky Selection, this is pretty easy to use. Let's find maybe a blue sky. Let's click on the first one. Wow, that's pretty amazing, I'd have to say. That's looking really nice, I like that. Let's try a different sky. This comes uh, with, with its own skies, and then you could also use your own skies if you'd like to as well. That sky looks pretty good. Let's try another one. That's looking good too. Actually, I kind of like that one. Let's go ahead and use this particular sky right here. Now, right here you'll see it has relight scene. So if you adjust this to the right, it'll, it'll bring that scene more into line with the sky. I'm just going to back it off a little bit. It defaults at, let's double click this. It defaults at 20. That might be a little too much for me. I'm just going to back that off to maybe around, maybe around 10. I think that looks pretty good, but wow, that's, that's looking pretty nice. Let's zoom in and see what kind of a job it did. Wow. I got to say it did a pretty nice job there. That's pretty darn impressive. So that's looking pretty good. So we've added a little bit of uh, AI structure, which uses artificial intelligence. And now we've replaced the sky, which is looking really nice. Let's go ahead and click apply and that'll bring us back into Photoshop. Takes a little bit of time to process out. Uh, Luminar is a little on the slow side right now. Hopefully they'll get that sped up. It's actually faster on Mac products the way I understand it, but let's click this layer one copy eyeball right here. Here's the before and there's the after. Wow, pretty impressive, I like it so. So this is my workflow. I really like to work with Photoshop. I start out in Lightroom actually, move into Photoshop, and then I use, usually use uh, Topaz for denoise and sharpening and other things in uh, Topaz as well. But today I wanted to really try out Luminar's sky replacement. So, but the first thing we did was we added the Adjust AI and I thought that really did a nice job. And we add a little bit of structure inside of um, uh, Luminar. So there it is, uh, pretty, pretty nice results. Let me know what you think of the new Luminar uh, sky replacement uh, uh, filter. It's probably not called a filter. I forget what they, they call it, something else, but. To me, it's a filter anyway, but there it is. Well, that's a wrap. We looked at a bunch of AI software today, Adjust AI by Topaz and AI Clear. We used, we looked at uh, Luminar 4 Sky Replacement Filter. That's AI as well. We worked with Lightroom. We worked with Photoshop. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Hey, by the way, let me know in the comments below what you think of the new uh, Luminar 4 Sky Replacement Filter. I'd really like to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon, and you'll be notified each time I put out a new training video, and I have a bunch planned. Well, thanks for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see each and every one of you right here next time. Until then, happy editing.